Good evening. We'll call the uh, Thursday, October 24th, 2024, meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission to order. Um, welcome. Uh, we'll start with uh, a pledge, please. Thank you. Um, any additions or deletions to the agenda? No, sir. All right. Very good. Um, first order of business is the approval of the September 12th, 2024 minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion. Uh, the uh, minutes are approved. Uh, we've got two items um, on the agenda tonight. Um, uh, one is uh, on consent, and I'll read that into the record. Um, it's Genesis Industrial, and it's a request to phase the previously approved site plan and defer a previously required off-site improvement. Uh, 4725 45th Street, LLC is the owner. Um, MBV Engineering Incorporated is the agent. Uh, would anyone like to take uh, this uh, off consent and discuss it? I would like. All right, then, in that case, um, uh, I will ask, have there been any uh, ex parte communications about this? None. Uh, and uh, we'll swear in anyone who would like to speak on this um, uh, agenda. What's that? Uh, we talked about that before. We're going to do them. We're going to do them one at a time. Yep. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I'm assuming that there's, uh, since this is on consent, there's no staff presentation? Oh, that's correct. We don't, don't, don't have a presentation, but I'm happy to answer any All questions. All right, so we'll uh, go with um, commissioner questions. Uh, since the first one is over on this side, Chip, you want to start out, and, and anyone else on the left? Sure. What is the um, deferred? Offsite improvement. Uh, thank you for the record, uh, Ryan Sweeney, Assistant Planning Development Services Director. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Chip, it's the offsite uh, left turn lane into the project site. Um, so originally, the project, the way it was approved, was not phased. It was the entire project, and the overall uh, project trips the left turn threshold. However, they want to phase it to be able to build um, phase one, which is buildings one and two first. Those first two buildings do not trip the turn lane threshold. So they want to be able to build the site along with the first two buildings, and then once they get to CO for building number three, they will have to build the off-site turn lane. Is there a time frame on that deferment? Just prior to CO for building three. That's it. They Correct. can build building one and two and then never have to do the turn lane. But they won't get to build buildings three, four, or five. So, right. Um, I mean, yes, that's, that is true. Said it would be my issue in that respect, then. Let me maybe, maybe perhaps clarify for sure. the turn lane. Yeah, yeah so the, the turn lane requirement is, is based on a number of left turning movements into the site. Um, the code has a threshold. Um, buildings one and two don't trip that threshold. I don't, we don't have any ability to require an offsite improvement on a permitted by the right site plan that doesn't exceed the threshold. I, and just if I could add one other item. That, the goal um, with 45th Street is that there's there's a larger project of uh, in culvert or piping the canal and rebuilding all of 45th Street from 43rd to 58th. That's a county MPO, actually DOT project. Um, so timing wise, they may be able to work with DOT to um, build in that improvement as part of that project. What kind of a time frame are we looking at for the DOT project? Uh, I believe it's in the it's in the current 25 to 2029 work program, but I don't have the exact dates. They got to get right away and do a number of other things. All right, but it's fairly recent. It, yeah, I mean we're not talking five years. The same. Great. Okay. Thank you. Good, Chip. Anyone else on the left? Nope. Any questions on the right? All right. Um, and since we've opened this and taken it. Um, um, off consent, uh, I'll open any comments from the, from the public. I'll open it for comments from the public.
Good evening, Rebecca Girl Hall, MBV Engineering, 1835 20th Street, Vero Beach here on behalf of the applicant. Uh, yes, we are looking at a phasing plan and the goal is to build all five buildings on that site and that has not changed. I think as uh, Ryan was good to point out, the timing changes with the MPO slash FDOT project. Um, we really wanna look holistically and we wanna encourage, I think, FDOT to look holistically at that entire street, not just the tiny portion of that that we would be putting in that left turn lane for. So it's really, I think, about that. And FDOT has a, a great opportunity in front of them to really design a complete streets design for that area and be a real asset to the entire community, far and beyond the little bit of left turn lane that would be added in front of this property. Well, that would be drainage, uh, sidewalks too? Yes. It's a huge factor, okay. Thank so you. In, in your opinion, that left turn lane will eventually go in? Absolutely. Yeah. FDOT has committed to it. They're evaluating a number of different design scenarios at this point in time. And yes, we could go you know, into engineering that left turn lane in front of that section of the roadway, but literally I'm gonna hold my hands up here and show you like a small section of a very, very long roadway. Um, and I think it just makes more sense to work with FDOT and make sure we're all going with the right design and what's going to be best for the overall length of that roadway, not just the piece in front of this business. And I would like to see that too, and I'm sure there may be some cost benefit to the uh, owner of the property as well, if they could time it all in. And I always had a problem with the uh, required, when they did the developments, the sidewalks to nowhere, as I used to call them. Mm -hmm. They had to build sidewalks in front of the project, but th that was irrelevant to the rest of the surroundings. Right. So, okay. Okay. Other than that, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions about this. All right, thanks. Questions? Thank you very much. Anyone else? Uh, I'll close the public comment section of this, and um, uh, if there are no additional questions, call for motion. Make a motion to approve. Uh, motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes uh, unanimously. Uh, the, our second agenda item is um, the loss tree uh, preserve and this is a request for a preliminary PD plat plan approval for the lost tree preserve multifamily track lost tree preserve LLC is the owner the Stellar and Moeller incorporated is the agent the zoning is PD plan development land use designation is L1 low density residential up to three units per acre proposed density is 2.11 units per acre um, and, and the overall development. Um, any declaration of ex parte communications for this? No. Uh, none. Uh, anyone that would like to speak on this, please get sworn in. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Thank you. And uh, for this, um, I'm assuming there is a staff presentation. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Again, for the record, Ryan Sweeney, Assistant Planning and Development Services Director. Uh, this item is Patrick Murphy's project, but I volunteered to present on his behalf. Um, so we do have a PowerPoint for you. This is Lost Street Preserve's request for the multifamily track slash townhome for preliminary PD plan plat approval. The uh, project is site is located right smack in the center of the Lost Tree Preserve overall PD uh, project on what is called the multifamily tract. Here is an aerial and, and north is now to the right, um, an aerial depicting the existing conditions of the site with the proposed site plan overlaid. And the site plan showing a total of 64 units, it's 16 separate buildings with four units per building. Um, just a driveway and, and garage style parking. There's also quite a bit of uh, additional guest parking in between the units and a single road that connects back to one of the main roads in Lost Tree Preserve Way with full access driveways at either end. And the landscape plan, because this is really actually a, sort of a multifamily site plan, um, the, those landscape requirements apply, including some perimeter plantings uh, vehicular use area plantings and the non-vehicular use area plantings. 
And with that, staff recommends that the Planning and Zoning Commission approve the Lost Tree Preserve preliminary PD plan plat with the conditions listed in staff report, including prior to issuance of a land development permit, the applicant shall obtain approval of a detailed landscape plan and lighting plan. In prior to issuance of certificate of completion, the applicant shall install all perimeter buffers and common area sidewalks. Thank you. Great presentation. Any um, uh, questions from uh, PNZ on the right here? None. Any questions on the left? Chip, go ahead. I may have asked this before, so I apologize. But can you pull back the uh, site plan, please? Yes, sir. As part of the this section, the access to the recreation area is any of that pet, uh, pedestrian oriented, or is it strictly you got to drive your car all the way around to park there? Uh, well, there, there's a perimeter. So it's hard to see, but there's a sidewalk that that is currently along Preserve Way. I guess, is that, um, maybe, maybe I'm not understanding. Yeah, uh, not necessary. no. Actually, it was more of a direct line uh, from the, the spaces in between the buildings. Oh, yeah, yes, there is, yes. There's a sidewalk on either side of Lolly's Lane that um, it's kind of hard to make out. I don't know if you can see on my cursor, but yes, there are sidewalks uh, on either side of the road. And so if you were to park in a guest space, you could walk to one of the units without having to go on the road. Yeah, no, I'm not being clear. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my fault. So <clears throat> for the people that reside there, they would be, to, in order to access the recreation area, um, they would have to walk out to preserve way Correct. to access it. There's no right, shortcut. There, I, there, no there, shortcut. Correct, there's no shortcut. I'm, I mean, they could probably work one in, but they probably don't want folks walking between the units. Um, but yes, that's there is no shortcut, so to speak. <clears throat> okay, I'm just looking at curbing vehicle traffic. I, can, I, I, it, I mean, all <clears> they could ride their bike. It should be a short walk considering. I mean, the other homes are considerably further away. I, right. I mean, maybe, you know, any the nearest single family home is considerably further. Maybe they'll allow golf carts. I don't <laughs> know. Okay. I'm just looking at cutting down the traffic. Sure. So. It's all internal. <laughs> so that, that part's good. A lot of it. Though. Yeah. Any other questions on the left here? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I haven't been out there. Not supposed to, I guess. <laughs> but uh, the rest of the development, how far along is it? The, all of the single family is, 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 is platted, and most of the homes are built. There's, uh, uh, they're into phase five now with the home building. Oh, OK. And uh, I'm thinking of. Uh, might be a similar development that's uh, in Indian River Shores that has uh, dr uh, driveways that's so short in front of the garage that the, car, the car is longer than the driveway. Is the, 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 is that the case here? Or uh, I'll, I'll, I will ask Steve to chime in because I don't know the exact dimension, but typically we, we do push to have at least a a commuter car be able to park in the driveway without hanging over into the sidewalk. Okay, so, um, and do these have garages and then they park the second car in front of the garage? Correct, but they also have an abundance of additional parking. I don't I don't think parking, you know, parking's not going to be an issue like it is okay, in some of the others. That's not assigned to any one owner Correct. or any one unit owner. Okay, that, that was my only concern. I hate to, you know, have the driveway shorter than Understood. Yes, we. I Ryan, mean, I, I'm sorry. I wanted to ask in here. Do you know if the HOA documents require that the car not uh, go over the sidewalk when they're parked there? Because I know a lot of HOA documents do right. restrict that. That says you can't. Your car can't hang over a sidewalk. But I think that you know, Mark, your your comment there might be addressed by the HOA documents as well. I, I certainly don't know <laughs> the HOA docs like the back of my hand, but I wouldn't be surprised if that, if that were the case. Okay, I just didn't know if if. Right. if the county had made sure that that kind of restriction was in there or not. So, thank you. And, and the HOA docs for the, I mean, I'm not sure if they're using the same HOA docs for the entire thing. Right. There's probably a master. Right. If they wanted to make an amendment to address something like that, they could. Um, they could also, if they're putting this in when this comes in through the PD process, that could be addressed through the HOA docs there too. Um, but that's something that at least our, I know my office reviews them, but we don't see them until 
they submit the actual final plat. So right. I can't really say anything there as we okay. that. Uh, one more quick thing is the recreation area you showed on the last slide, showed a pool and uh, courts and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, is that complete? Then? Yeah, that, this aerial show that the, the aerial that, that does show those improvements. That, okay, the, so those, those are, are all real. those are all real. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. You good on the left? All right, we'll go ahead and open this for public comment. Steve, do you have anything to add? No, uh, Steve Moeller for the record, Mass Seller Moeller representing. Um, Lost Tree Preserve. I don't have anything to add. Ryan did a good job explaining the project. I just comment on Mark's question: the dimensions that we have for the distance from the sidewalk to the garage is always at least 20 feet. So uh, we don't have any issue with um, cars hanging over unless somebody just doesn't park correctly. Um, we provide the, the length that uh, will allow that to occur. Okay. What's the length of an average car? It's at least 20 feet like a regular parking space. But an average car is, what, 18? Um, I, I nowadays? think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, I'm getting smaller and smaller. I mean, or, or bigger and bigger, depending on. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they park outside. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our tr okay. Uh, I suppose this doesn't matter, but our pickup trucks prohibited? No. I. I'm not that familiar with the HOA documents, and I'm quite frankly not sure that this, because this is townhomes and not single, they, they might propose with this plat to have their own HOA documents associated with just this community. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that they'll be part of the overall uh, HOA, um, certainly because everybody has to pay for the upkeep of the main roads in the community, but this site. I don't think it's really been decided whether or not this is part of the overall or not. It, it might be a sub-association. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Any other questions for Steve? Well, since Steve's the only one in the audience, I think we can safely <laughs> close the uh, public hearing part of this um, and uh, call for motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Uh, passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, commissioner matters. Any commissioner matters? Uh, none. Uh, I know there's a discussion item for planning uh, matters, so let's go ahead and do that. Sure. I, thank you. I did not prepare anything uh, formal, um, but I uh, did want to have this discussion. Ironically, we, I wanted to have this discussion a couple of meetings ago, and we, we had to cancel two meetings in a row, which is one of the items I want to discuss now. So um, I double-checked the bylaws or, and the code that established the Planning and Zoning Commission, and there is no mention or requirement of the um, interval that the PNZ meets. It, historically, it's been the second and fourth Thursday of every month when we have an item, but as you all know, sometimes we have multiple meetings where we don't have items. Sometimes we have back-to-back -back meetings. Um, so just real quick, the, the, the pro of that current setup is that we have the ability for applicants and for staff workload management to kind of spread that among multiple meetings. Um, the, the con is that we could have a meeting for one item and then another meeting for one item and then another meeting for one item. So um, the other con, though, of moving, uh, so the, the con to moving to one meeting a month is if we do have to cancel um, then it can really create a huge agenda, or it also provides less flexibility to applicants. Um, I, I've been doing this for almost 11 years now, and I, I, I can live with it either way, um, but it's really up to you all if you, if you want to move to one meeting a month. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Ryan. Um, you have the ability to call a special meeting at We, we any could time. certainly call a special call. Okay. Um, so just to clarify one last thing though is obviously in the months of November and December we only only have one meeting a month because the fourth Thursday would be Thanksgiving and typically Christmas respectively. So my recommendation if we were to move to one meeting a month would be the second Tuesday of the month and then if we needed to we could 
do a special call for a, a fourth, uh, did I say Tuesday, I meant Thursday, I'm mixing together with PCC. Um, so we would have that ability. Um, I, like I said, I can live with it either way. We, it would be more predictable. If we, if we go to one meeting a month, we probably will have a meeting pretty much every month. And, you know, but, and it might be a, a slightly larger agenda, but it would be a more efficient use of, of your time and our time. So. And would this potentially mean longer meetings? It, it, it could, yeah, absolutely. Do you have anything for uh, two weeks from today? For, excuse me? For the f second meet, second, uh, the first meeting. The in first, uh, the, yes, first yes, the meeting, meeting in, the meeting in November is going to be a doozy. Uh, a lot of the items you saw. Is it a doozy? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the items that you saw on the uh, agenda that was supposed to be the first meeting of this month, um, we were, those are public hearings. We were not able to re-advertise and get them back on this meeting. So a number of those items together with one or two other items are going to be on that agenda. So again, you're going to experience the con of having only one meeting a month. Right, and I think you know Calvin and I discussed this at the beginning, and I think the the concern is we end up with if we go to the one meeting, we end up with the meeting with six agenda items. Right. Um, Possibly. I mean, in the summer months, um, we could have one or two items. Yeah. Um, Where did this come from? I mean, why? I, I frankly, I don't know if it was one of you all that just said why. I, I don't. I, I honestly, I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I, I will say, like I said, in the summer in particular, I think we had three meetings that we canceled in a row. But then we had three meetings in a row, with only one or two items. So, well, Ryan, I understand ahead. the potential disadvantage, and that sure. would be the meetings stacking up and sure. longer meetings. I don't really comprehend the advantage going right. once. I mean. It, in the event that you said, you know, hey, we're going once a month, and that's going to be the second Tuesday, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, 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 sorry, I keep Thursday. yeah, I'm right with you with Tuesday, but that you had the option of, well, hey, this got canceled because of a storm, sure. so we're going to meet on the fourth. I, my biggest concern is just, and it's it's being selfish. My time is important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind committing two weeks a month, but I don't want to sit in here until 11.30. Yeah, I, Ryan, I, I don't support the, the uh, going to one at all. Um, I think for not only, I, I had several people actually call me on this and go, hey, what's going on? Are they really going to do this? I mean, if, if you miss your deadline by a day, mm -hmm. I am now six weeks out to get something in, sure. and I don't think that that's doing justice to the well, citizens of Indian River County who want to get things done in a timely fashion. And so I, I also agree with longer meetings are a possibility. I think unintended things are going to pop up like longer meetings. And if I'm the last guy on a meeting with six things here, and I've already worked eight hours today, and now I'm going until you know seven, eight, nine. 10 o'clock at night waiting on my stuff. I've got a tired board of commissioners. I've got, you know, the last guy there. Am I going to pull it and wait another? Um, I, I think unintended things are, if it takes that much longer to get my project in and going forward, there, there's a lot of burden that goes along with that to the person who is trying to get something done. And it's a financial burden as well. I mean, you've got another six weeks of overhead. I've got six weeks of interest carry on a project and those kinds of things. So I, I understand what, what the process is. It, it works good for that. But I, I, I wouldn't support it um, as far as that goes. OK, I, I, don't even, I, don't, I don't know that we need a vote, because I don't think Yeah, we, I, I don't know. I, just, I, I think we're in agreement. I mean, I'm against going to one. Okay. Uh, I, well, I do have one comment. Go, go ahead. <laughs> and that's that over the last four years, there have been a number of times that I've driven from Sebastian to town for this meeting. It takes me longer <laughs> to get to here than it is the meeting. From Sebastian come home. I do the same drive. I, well, that's a little frustrating. It takes a half an hour. I, I can talk slower yeah. if you like. I mean, I, I, again, yeah, I, I understand. That's where the, the one item it or the... It wasn't me. I didn't raise this issue. Sure. No, no. It, yeah. but, but it is kind of frustrating. Is there a way to prevent that from happening with the scheduling? We try to, we try to convince folks that have sort of 
more straightforward items if, if they're the only one that's going to go say, hey, we, we already know, we have already advertised for a public hearing in two weeks, we'd really like to push, but I mean, we don't, we, you know, that only goes so far, so. No, I just wanted to raise the issue. I have no problem either way. Right, yeah, and I, I get it, because I, like you, Beth, I, I live in Sebastian and, and uh, appointed by Mr. Flesher, so um, it is a drive down and all of those kind of things, but my th thought process on this is, is I knew that when I signed up. And, and I agreed to make those commitments for that amount of time, and I don't have any problem fulfilling that commitment that I made. So um, I, I just think we need to be here for the community and have, have those meetings available for them to, uh, to get their things done. I would, yeah, I mean, I've, I've said, well, I've been on both sides of the table here <laughs> for a very long period of time. And, I remember those meetings that were two or three items and they still went till 11, 11.30 and we had to call it. And driving, you know, uh, I live out near 95, so I mean, it depends on what time of the day. Um, you know, whether it's a 20 minute or a half an hour drive, because uh, I don't know anybody can drive to get here anymore within 10 minutes. It's a unless, fact, unless yeah. you live next door. But it, but doing that drive, I, yeah, I understand where you're coming I'm from. Not, I'm not having, complaining about the drive, guys. That really, yeah. that the drive is not an issue. It's just in in the point. Right. Well, yes. we, we just have to make sure that the chairman slows things down a little bit sometimes. <laughs> no, <laughs> no what, what you need to do is when we have a one item. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. I'm like, well, that's a discussion for Mr. Pagano because he could. Uh, uh, I can <laughs> name names of anybody, but I mean, if it's a 10 minute meeting and it's a 20 minute drive, that I mean, as opposed to a three hour <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, and I've been. Attended way too many of those meetings to know. As have I. Yeah, I mean it's not fair to staff either. I mean you guys, you know, I got to get up and work the next day too. But um, some of us get up earlier than others. So I live in Tornado Alley in uh, <laughs> Central Beach, and it takes me almost a half an hour. Yeah, yeah you got to get across the bridge. You only have one. You only have one bridge right now. I got to so. get through the trees. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. So do we need a vote on this? Or no, I've got a no. very clear no, consensus. Not if we don't make any changes. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. You, you don't need a vote, but if you want to do a consensus, you're fine, whatever. No. I think we've got a consensus. Yeah, we've got a very consensus is staying at two. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. I agree with that. Thank you. Great. And I already, I, the only other item I already mentioned is that we do, we've already advertised for multiple public hearings for November, November 14. Um, which is the only meeting in November. Um, so some of the items you've already seen, if you want to do your early homework, you can re those won't change. Um, okay. But then we do have some additional projects that will be added as well. What are we currently looking at as potential? Uh, November 14th, how I many items? I believe five items. Okay. So. Uh, and are these long items or short they items? They are all public hearings. Okay. They're all public hearings? You don't yes. know until you have. And you don't know some of those. You don't know whether they're controversial or not. Correct. Mm -hmm. that's, it. that's it for me. All right. Any attorney matters? No, no attorney matters. We will adjourn this meeting in anticipation of November. <laughs>